Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. There's a lot going on in the state legislature in Concord with bills that are important to businesses and to their employees. We're going to take a look at some of them in the next few minutes, and here's some of them right now. Paid family and medical leave, freeze on business taxes, capital gains tax. These are all contained within the state budget right now. And then these, minimum wage, uh, renewable portfolio standards, I'm sorry, workforce development, and then renewable portfolio standards and workers comp. With me to talk about all of these is somebody who follows all of this day and night. <laughs> For the Business Industry Association of New Hampshire, Senior Vice President David Jouvet. Welcome back. Thank you, Fred. Nice to have you here. Thanks. Uh, let's take the first, uh, well, it's interesting that paid family and medical leave and the freeze on business taxes and the capital gains tax are all now, as you have told me, in the state budget. Let's take uh, paid uh, family and medical leave. Does it have legs? Well, it, it certainly has legs one way or the other. The governor had a proposal in his budget recommendation to the House that was pretty quickly stripped out by uh, the House Democrats who inserted their own preferred plan in. This is a mandatory plan on employers and employees. Mm -hmm. Comes with a pretty hefty price tag, but it would provide up to 12 weeks of paid family leave in the event an employee needs to be out of work for an extended about period of time. Of their pay, I think, if, if I'm not correct. Mistaken. Okay. Right. Um, freeze on business taxes. Uh, business taxes were meant to go down uh, year after year for a few years, but all of a sudden that has stopped. Right. It, when it, you that say would stop under this bill. When you say freeze, people are saying, well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And if you're a business, it's a bad thing because there were scheduled reductions in business right. taxes set to take place this year and in 2021, but the House budget uh, repeals both of those decreases and freezes the rates at the 2000. 18 level. It was supposed to go down, I think, to uh, the B uh, business profits tax to 7.9 percent this year. So that's wiped out, right? Uh, yeah, it actually was going to go down to 7.7 7 in 2019. Ah, okay. they, they retained it at the 7.9 level. 7.9, okay. Now, uh, minimum, uh, the uh, capital gains tax, this is new. Yeah, this is new. I mean, there are there's obviously a federal capital gains tax, and a number of states around the country have a capital gains tax, but it's essentially an income tax on certain income, income derived from capital gains. It's new for New Hampshire, and it's in the House budget. And the construction industry must be concerned about this. Well, I think uh, investors are also concerned yep. about it because uh, oftentimes you get capital gains through investments. Yeah, in, in construction. <laughs> That's where I was going. Yeah. So you finished the thought. Uh, minimum wage. Uh, New Hampshire has the lowest in New England, which is the federal at 7.5. Uh, the minimum wage, it looks like they have settled in on the House and Senate about 12. Well, yeah, there are competing uh, bills to raise the minimum wage. There's a House bill and a Senate bill. Mm -hmm. The Senate bill ties it to a paid sick leave benefit. It's a little convoluted. So it's if pretty you had a sick leave benefit, you had a, a lower... A, a lower minimum wage. It's a little complicated. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the House and Senate will come to a, a meeting of the minds and there will be some... Uh, increase in minimum wage. Whether the governor vetoes that or not is another uh, issue. And it looks like some of it would be graduated over a couple of yes. years. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, workforce development, probably one of the biggest items in this legislature probably for the next few years because of that issue. Yeah, it's uh, certainly the number one issue for employers in New Hampshire right now, lack of workforce or a workforce that doesn't have the right skills. And there's a couple of different bills, one dealing with workforce development for health care workers and another more general bill that provides more funding for the job training fund, which employers can access to help pay for critical job training for their employees. Right, right. You think that has legs? I, I do. I think uh, okay. I, I'm not sure that they will pass at the levels that they are currently at, but I do think they will pass. Okay. Uh, renewable portfolio standards. Um, increase uh, each year after 2025? Is yeah, this is an issue that many of your viewers might not be aware of. It's exactly. designed to uh, uh, incentivize the state to, to use more uh, renewable or sustainable energy, uh, solar energy, wind mm -hmm. energy, hydro, and so on. Um, the idea is to increase the amount, uh, the percentages that, that electric utilities have to purchase mm -hmm. from sustainable energy uh, sellers. Um, the good part is it's, it's good for the environment. The mm -hmm. bad part is it comes with a hefty price tag, okay. and this is on top of already sky-high electricity rates in New Hampshire. So this could affect the rates? It will have a definite impact on rates if okay. it goes through. Okay. And uh, finally, uh, workers' comp. Uh, there is uh, a bill in that would increase 
uh, workers' comp rates. Yeah, there's a number of workers' comp bills. One that we're focused on would eliminate the cap on partial disability. Right now, if you're partially disabled mm -hmm. through a work-related injury, you get up to five years of, of benefits, uh, but then those benefits end. It's designed to get you back into the right. workforce. There's a bill to eliminate that cap so you could essentially continue uh, receiving benefits for a lifetime. Interesting. Now, the governor, which of these things we just talked about will he probably veto? Well, do you think? <laughs> oh, you don't know. I know that, but <laughs> I don't know. But I suspect there yeah. are a lot of things in the budget that he has said he cannot support. Yeah. So it certainly wouldn't surprise me unless there are massive changes made when the Senate gets the budget. It wouldn't surprise me if that ends up getting vetoed by yeah. the governor. I think the workers' comp bill is another one uh, that he has a, a problem with because it's a huge price tag for employers. Yeah. David Juve, Senior Vice President of the Business and Industry Association of New Hampshire. Thanks.